London researchers have contributed to a major breakthrough in the prevention of infant cancer, and it's further evidence that women should be taking daily supplements of folic acid. Scott Ross spoke to an expert at Robarts Research Institute today about this advancement. Some great news coming out of Toronto's hospital for sick kids now has wound its way to the Robarts Research Institute right here in London. Dr. Michael Reeder, part of a research team, has found that pregnant women who consume a regular diet of folic acid will greatly reduce their chances of infant cancer. A lot of what happens to us in adult life is determined when we're in the womb and as infants. Okay. And what's happened is, is that I think what's happening is, is that the folic acid intake determines the cancer risk for our cells in childhood. So. Is it going to, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it hinders, it's more of a preventative thing. So it's like, if we take folic acid, we already know we prevent the risk, uh, we prevent or reduce the risk of neural tube defect. In the same way, folic acid uh, taken will reduce the risk of uh, childhood cancer. The research team is headed up by another London doctor, Dr. Gideon Corrin. His team found that the multivitamins with folic acid reduce the risk of neuroblastoma by 47%, a condition that affects six to 7,000 children in North America. I think Dr. Corrin's made a landmark observation that people like ourselves and other people uh, were going to be following up with mechanistic studies looking at why exactly that happens. And I think, uh, you know, this is exciting stuff, it's Canadian data. Uh, that I think will change the way pregnancy is taken care of in, in the whole world. The most common form of cancer in pediatric care is leukemia. The findings indicate that folic acid may cut the risk by 39 percent and brain tumors by an astonishing 27 percent. So then the good doctor, Dr. Reeder, then has some sound advice for any woman even thinking of becoming pregnant. And I emphasize thinking about it because about half of pregnancies in Canada are unplanned. You should take a milligram a day of folic acid. And our diet contains about three or 400 milligrams of folic acid. So if we take enough to get up to a milligram is what we want to do. So I think anyone who's thinking about getting pregnant, and I emphasize even thinking about it, should be taking folic acid. And this research, according to Reader, is just the beginning to discovering new directions in fighting cancer. Right now, the way we treat cancer is with a big hammer. We kill the cancer cells and everything else. Can we say, can we target things to the genome? Can we target things to specific cells that will let us be more selective therapy? So I think this is the start of an exciting new direction of research, which I think has great implications for people in Canada and beyond. From the Robarts Research Institute in London, Scott Ross, First Local.